Greetings, Keishlin. It's Keishmar. I'm here with my live reaction of Attack on Titan, Chapter 128. Uh, but, but before that, I want to promote my Kingdom Theory first on the channel. And Beastars on 171 live reactions. So check those out if that interests you. But uh, you came for the Titans of Attacking. So here we go. Last, where we left off, you know, you had the... I'm going to call them just the anti... Uh, Jaegerist faction, you know, they were kind of airing out their grievances from, you know, Marlians and Paradisians and all that, and then it's setting up this assassination plot at the port that they're trying to get to, where Lady, how is it pronounced, like, Akuma Bito? I probably got the name wrong, but, um, she's about to be killed. And it, I'm pretty sure it was Flock that was going to pull the trigger, so... <clears throat> anyway, to think Flock would be able to reach here so swiftly, we finished if the Jaegers destroyed our airships. Why aren't they destroying them? I wonder. They probably don't have definitive evidence of us being here to try and stop Aaron. It's easy to destroy the ships, however. If the world gets uh destroyed, it would take hundreds of years for the lost technology to reappear. I mean... Yeah, but also if the ships are out at sea and the Titan, you know, the colossal Titans are, you know, going via the ocean, they would never be able to reach the water, you know, because the ocean is deep. So if you go to like the deepest part of the ocean and just kind of stay there long enough for those Titans to like go inactive or whatever for, you know, because Aaron's going to eventually die. So if you can stay on the sea for about, what, a few years, you'd be fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they, they would just kind of be floating little islands at that point. There you go. Occasionally go to an island maybe to pick up some other supplies. There you go, you're fine. Um, but yeah, so the ship technology wouldn't be totally lost if you thought about it for a second. <clears throat> if they want an un uh, uninhabited continent then airships become all the more valuable their primary objective for occupying the harbor might have been that of holding back the uh, Azuma Bito I had one freaking letter off damn curse my memories <coughs> mm, anyway uh, let's see here who have ships and engineers still if we knew that they were here uh, they would pulverize our airships immediately. Let's see, uh, s stopping them, even with the power of the nine titans, would be very difficult. They are reluctantly joining forces. Oh yeah, I forgot Annie's a part of their group now. I don't know why I forgot about Annie. <laughs> oh, I mean she was there. So, oh, and the title's called Traitor. Okay. Who's going to who's gonna stab this little group in the back? Or is it going to be somebody else's at the trail? I don't know. Uh, it's going to be Annie, isn't it? It might be Annie. But I don't know. Anyway. Uh, if we start stumbling now, uh, though, then we'd never be able to stop them. A plan? What? What's wrong? Hey. Stoop down. That is... I'll kill them all together all at once. There's no other way of protecting the airships. What the hell is going on? <laughs> hmm. Uh, you need to lend me your weapons and the power of the Titans for this. No issues there, right? Oh god, so Annie's like, give me the power that I seek in the weapons even though you have the power of a titan a decent enough titan it's not super strong or anything but it's 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 middle of the road but works wait wait a second why if we attack the harbor indiscriminately we will end up involving the azumabito too exactly uh, your ancestors are enemies who attacked our hometown as well, though. No. 
If the Azuma Bito die, that's a problem for us, Andy. Oh, so what does Peck know that we don't know? Um, I'm right, am I not? It's exactly as you said. Oh, our boy... Oh, God, what is his name? Oban... I, oh, man. Anyway. Uh, I could somehow uh, find a way to pilot the airship, even on my own. But without the Azuma Vita workers, then the airships would just be boats without wings. Uh, <laughs> I mean, interesting. Uh, let's see here. The airships are built so that their wings are bent, which lets them have traction on the sea. Really? I mean, I guess. Eh. Hmm. Uh, they will not magically fly if we just unfold the wings. According to how this should work, they need to be brought into the hangar for a maintenance check together with a flight training or with yeah with a flight training done and only after that they can finally be used as intended that how long will it take i don't know it depends on the azuma Buta. i see basically <clears throat> we need to earn time to prepare the ships uh, while protecting the airships in the azuma Buta. and on top of that uh, we don't want to harm anyone from the jaegerist who will come attacking us. Is that what you're saying? Or trying to say? We don't want to harm them. We were all together back in our training days. And so, what are you going to do? Will you tell me? Yeah, just how... How will you earn the time necessary for us to prepare while avoiding harming an enemy that will attack us? And all the while protecting the airships in the Azuma Bito. Tell me, Armin. Oh, so she's talking to Armin. I thought she was talking to Jean. Okay. Uh, just like that time when you chased after me. Tell me your plan. I mean, he is big time plan boy, so, you know. But this is a lot to try and do. Uh, so I don't know if even Armin can come out with something. We don't have a plan. Either we settle this right... Or we settle this right this second. Or we screw up and lose our airships. Wait. Okay, so Peck interjects, and now Connie's kind of having, like, a screaming moment. We were here to save people? But why? Is it just the first thing we were going to do is mass kill everyone who's on the island? Why does it have to be like this? I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't want to see it happen either. So I'm with you, Connie. See here. Yeah, you guys are not obligated to go along with this in the first place and have a choice like this thrown at you if I had been you that day I wouldn't have chosen to destroy the wall unlike us oh that got Reiner's attention okay at the end I'm just like you okay so that's uh that's Aaron and that's uh I think right before their fight wasn't it and when they they both transformed and everything back after uh Williams Willie whatever his name uh I'll just say Willie Willie Tiber's uh speech that is that what you meant what hmm say here the four of you it's okay if you don't fight uh, they'll probably still fight. I mean, they're trained soldiers, for God's sakes. It's kind of <laughs> embedded in them now. Uh, watch together, also Falco and Gabby, from a safe place. If the Jaegers find you, you'll be forced to make the choice, willing or not. However, do not interfere. Oh, are you telling us to just watch you kill each other? Is this really a problem that can somehow be solved with a Titan fight? Mm. Hmm. Probably not, but I assume it's their best option at this point. Um. I have no intention of being a spectator. The Eggers have already killed four of us anyway. And more importantly, there's no time left for humanity anymore. I mean, that that's true. The Titans, they be a stompin'. <coughs> 
Um, I saw the Titans advancing while leaving behind a huge amount of steam out there in the open sea. Uh, these Titans have already reached the continent of Marley. What? <laughs> if I had to guess, based on their speed, they probably have annihilated every city in the northeast part of Marley, which is close to here. It's that close? Like, it's been a few hours or a day. Maybe not a few hours. 12 hours, 24 hours, something like that. Two days tops. And they've already gotten there. Good lord. I know they're probably non-stop, so... But to say they've also destroyed that much as well? God damn. Um... Let me hear. But I thought it was, like, way further away than that. I didn't think they'd be able to cross the sea this quickly. With this, they'll reach each other... Reach every other continent in the blink of an eye. I would imagine so if they can just traverse every... How small is this planet? Goddamn... Uh, I wonder how many people have been killed already. Untold numbers, Hanji. Untold numbers. Okay. What the hell are they doing to freaking um, Yelena right now? Like, first over the face, and then breaking her arm. God damn, McGrath. Uh, tell us the whereabouts of uh, Aaron Yeager. And she's just kind of like, Brr. how the fuck can I say anything when you got your hand over my mouth? Uh, I'll keep on breaking every joint in your m arm until you speak. I thought you were going to say every joint in the body, which then eventually, what happens when you break the jaw and then she can't say shit, you know? Uh, McGrath, you don't have to be afraid. I won't kill you. I'm glad. I'm going to torture you for the rest of your life. I changed my mind. I don't want to die until I can see uh, see with my eyes how this is going to end. If you bring me along with you, I might just tell you. Oh, so she's broken down, presumably. Unless she's going to betray them. She's the traitor, isn't she? That, that's what's going on right now, right? That's what the title was all about. It's like she's pretending to be on their side, but then as soon as things get ramped up and like they're either going to kill Aaron... Stop the rumbling some other way, or you know, all that, and then that's when she stabs him in the back. And it's like, that's for breaking my arm, McGrath, as she's literally stabbing him in the back, you know. Anyway, where's Aaron? We need to protect the airships first. There's no time for torture now. Yeah, Oban. Oh, oh, oh man, not Oban. Well, I mean, that is part of his name, but anyway. Let's see here. So Gabby's just now realizing what the hell's going on. She's climbing back down. Uh, Connie, Armin, Mikasa, Jean. I want to apologize for my behavior last night. We were wrong. Talking about justice so prudently, and now that we came to this point, I still scandalously struggled to try and prove we were right. Because I was scared to make a straight look at myself, I, a desperate Marlin. You are not at fault. It's wrong to accuse you of the sins of your ancestors committed in the past. This is what I'm talking about. This is literally the fucking problem with all of human history is that we we keep blaming the past. Unless like there is direct correlation, like what you, what your ancestors did hundreds upon thousands of years ago is like don't blame it on the present day, folks. In some cases, they may not even fucking know they're related. <laughs> so it's like, no. This, this is happening also in, like, One Piece right now. Well, it was in the past. Like, um, with uh, Orochi and everything and how, what his grandfather did. And then, like, the whole clan is being persecuted. And then that's what led to the traitor Conjuro and... Or Conjuro and everything. And it's like... It, why? Why persecute the people who were not affiliated at all, except by name? You know? Eh, I hate it. Anyway. Let's see. Peck, Annie, Reiner, you too. There's, there's no reason why you need to shoulder the entire hatred of the world. But still, we have the responsibility of not forgetting this foolish history drenched in blood and transmit it to the future generations. Yeah, that's kind of the problem we've had also, oh man, is like giving, 
Yelena like a sling. Uh, Aaron Yeager intended to wipe away everything. I cannot allow that. We have to keep on looking away from our foolish behavior. This hell will never end. So I beg of you. Oh, he's deeply bowing there. Only for now, please pretend you don't see our foolish actions. Oh. Air Armin's just I said air, my bad. Armin's like, I refuse. Hmm. Why? Why would he refuse? <laughs> um how can we stand here pretending we're right? Without even dirtying our hands. Oh. Okay. So they're they're definitely gonna help, yeah. Okay. Where is this? Oh, this is stealth report. Okay. I hadn't scrolled down far enough to see the boat yet. Uh please take a look at that steam. There cannot exist a more dramatic day than this for history to change. Oh flock you sack of sack of dirt droppings and by that I mean shit um I don't know what the hell I'm saying I first thing popped in my I was trying to come up with some kind of fecal matter joke but it didn't come out right sorry uh the nation of Hizuru is no exempt or no exception of, of uh, exception of course their culture will disappear without a trace and will be reborn into a completely new land. You won't have... You know... How much of the landscape is going to be totally demolished and everything's just going to be like totally just flat land? Like are the hills going to... The hills have eyes. They also have been stamped by the giants. But, you know... Like how much of the mountains are going to survive? Because there's mountain people out there. Will they become the new hills? <laughs> it's going to be really bad. Like, I guess it'll be great for, you know, settlements of farming communities, sure. But, you know, landscapers everywhere will be painting the same paintings. <laughs> they won't have to worry about anything anymore. You just have to contribute your service to this island. Luckily... Hizuru's brightest engineers are right here. Oh. Also, there's a few dead people on the floor, right? If you don't want to lose any more... Oh, that's her support. Okay, makes sense. So, that's how they're trying. It's like, hey, if you don't want any more of your great engineers to die, maybe you work for us right now. Uh, if you don't want to lose any more subordinates... Let me hear what you have to say. It's hard to say this when you're in such high spirits, but... Eh? What exactly changed... Or, what exactly changed that you're so joyful about? If you think that Paradise Island is safe with this, I'm sorry to say. But, you will just make the world smaller. You will just continue killing each other as usual. I appreciate your advice. I did in fact feel that way. But what's more important is for you to know your place. Hmm. Uh-oh. Gun to the head. We do not need Hizuru, uh, Hizuru's uh, technology. If we deny our hunger for such needless luxuries as flying boats and seamanship, we can pluck away the seeds of unease. Do you understand? What's most important is for you to understand your place. Do you understand? Fuck! Where are you? Anyone? Anyone's fine. Oh, okay. I, I was like, what? Anyone's fine, so hurry up. Uh, where are the Azumabitos? Okay, so you got Connie and Armin there. Flock's looking out the window. Armin! Flock! Where have you been? What are you making such a fuss about? We were chasing the cart titan. We're with the armor titan, or they're with the armor titan. They swarm, or swam away to the ocean. I'd like to see how the freaking cart titan swims. Is it like a dog? Um, if we don't act fast, they'll get away. We need the flying boat right now. Hurry up and let the Azumabitos get it ready to fly. I like that this is the plan they're going with. It's 
see. Okay, so you got some of the soldiers up on the roofs there. What are you saying? What are they? What are you doing? You were not pursuing. Were you not pursuing the cart titan? Isn't it obvious they'd run to the south? They kill Jean and oh yep yeah, oh it wasn't Oban. My bad. Onya Capon, you know. <laughs> oh, this, this crying face he makes. Armin, uh, the flying boat is over there. Flock, hurry up and bring the Azumabito mechanics. Okay, th so they're they're riding their horses now to the the dock. Stop. Stop, Connie. Armin. Daz? Samuel? I I remember Daz, and I, I've heard the name Samuel, but he doesn't look anything like I remember. Um, what are you doing? What? Are those bombs? What? Oh, God, they were, they were going to blow the damn thing up. They bandoliered the boat with dynamite. You need to take those off now. We need to use it to chase the Marlin survivors who ran into the sea. Wait. Calm down, you two. The truth is, you guys teamed up with Marley and are going to use the flying boat to try and stop the rumbling, is what you're... is what we're sus suspecting. That I cannot read. Um, hmm. Okay, so they really called your bluff. What? Th there's no way we'd do that. That's right. If we stopped Armin... Or, yeah, Aaron, I can't read. Sorry, guys. Um, Aaron, that would happen to, th or what would happen to this island? Y yeah, even though we're just about to be safe. Uh, there's no way you'd expose this island to danger again like that. Isn't that obvious? I'm glad. I don't know what we'd do if you guys betrayed us. Just hurry up. Please remove the bombs. But if it's you guys, even if it's an enemy country... Okay, so he he's Daz is about to blow up the damn thing by pushing the blunder. Uh, you'd want to stop Aaron's massacre, wouldn't you? I had a feeling like that. Uh oh. Well, the seas are quite choppy. What? I removed the detonator. What? He just throw it in the. No, it's still there on the dock. Okay. Hmm. Next, if we get. If we can get Flock to hand over the Azuma Bito mechanic, uh, how will we get everyone on the completed airship and uh, leave this place? If anything, if everything succeeds, we won't spill any blood unnecessarily. Don't you think this is a bit strange? If you're going to pursue an enemy you know that is running to the south, using the train would be faster, much more than moving while having uh, to let uh, horses rest. Hmm. The reason why we're sneaking around like this is, no, we don't have any evidence. But looks like I should pluck away the seeds of unease after all. Okay, so he's going to shoot another subordinate. Oh shit! She freaking going in there and like grabbing him by the arms. You're going to freaking toss him? Okay, so we got some more soldiers stationed around the port here. Failed. Miss Kiyomi. Vlock. Hey. So she really just wrangled his ass. I say break his arm. Ah, oh, shit. Kill them. As if I'd just die without a fight. Oh, shit. Is that Mikasa coming through the window? Pretty sure it is. And just, good lord. Well, he's not. He's going to need a big old dental bill. Um. Okay, I'm I'm just assuming that's Mikasa. It makes the most sense anyway. Plus, she's easily handling these guys like they're nothing. This guy's pulling out a gun. She just like shoves it and indents it in his face. And it's like Miss Kiyomi. What? Oh, so what did he? Oh yeah, he tried to shoot. Oh, oh, it's one of the anchors. Okay, so he's trying to get out of there now. With your busted arm. Pretty sure his arm should be broken, but maybe not. Attack it, or enemy attack. Mikasa, Armin, Connie. They have betrayed Eldia. Kill them. Oh, shit. They're going to shoot Thunder Spears through the windows. Run to the basement. Oh, shit. <laughs> shoot. Sh shoo. Uh, okay, so that building's blown to fuck. Um, it started. 
this turns out like this, we, we no longer have any choice but to annihilate the Jaegers. Mikasa, stop! Okay, so they stopped him at the at the stairwell. St oh, shit! Well, they just got shot through the heads or something. Over here, Azuma Bito. We'll avoid the attack in the ba or we'll avoid the attack in the basement. If you want to live, come with us. If you want to leave, come with me," says McGrath. Anyway, uh, let's see here. So the place looks like it's about to be attacked. Seeing at the port, we got Armin and Connie. The detonator's still there. Oh, Des, don't do it, man. Hey, what are you? Daz, stop. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Samuel. You betrayer. You just killed Armin. You son of a bitch. Shot him full of holes, he did. This ain't no spaghetti western. Um, Armin, don't move. Connie, just follow what he says. I don't want to lose you too. Samuel. Daz, hurry up and blow up the air, or the airship. You know, you would probably get caught up in the explosion being this close. Especially with that much frickin' dynamite. Do it quickly. What, will Armin be able to survive? Because uh, it was, mo like, once through the... It looked like just the jaw, and then, like, mostly chest shots. So, like, with his Titan uh, regen, he should be alright, right? Right? I mean, we've seen worse, I guess. Um, Samuel, hey, you betrayed us, didn't you, Connie? Even though you, you said you'd increase our territory and eat meat with us. Oh, 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 so that's, okay. So he was there during that day when freaking Sasha stole that ration of meat. Ah, uh, that was so long ago. Ah, uh, damn it, why? Why do the, or, what? Why did this? And they're in the basement, it looks like, I guess. The basement is a dead end. They'll just kill us with time. This is fine. If we're safe, we can run as wild as they like. Or they can. They escape to the basement. Bring more explosives. Okay, so they're just... Mm. Do they intend to hold up in the basement where they have nowhere to run? No, it cannot be. This is... Okay, it's Titan time. Reiner, Connie, or Annie, I mean, not Connie, Connie, I got Titan. Okay, so they're both transforming over the port. What? Connie just took out Samuel, at least for the moment. Uh, let's see here. It was no use after all. Why did it turn out like this? Okay, so back at the, the lookout, I guess you could call it. The same Dragon Ball, but, you know, it's the lookout. We can't take violence away from people, right, Captain? Yeah, I, can he even really talk? <laughs> okay, so they're going wild with their Titan forms. Great, just these people are being shredded. Even with the Thunder Spears, which is ridiculous. I mean, those were basically made almost with the intention of taking out Reiner, and they're doing shit all to him. Uh, Connie's still fighting with Samuel. And Daz is just kind of there. He's not doing a damn thing. Daz, blow it up. Samuel? Oh, Armin got up and he's tackling Daz. Armin, stop. Stop. He's like a fucking zombie. You're going to shoot him too. Oh, you've got a gun to his head. No, Armin. You traitors. Why? Why aren't we comrades? Or aren't we comrades? You are comrades, but... I am. Don't you dare pull that trigger, Daz. Ah! Stop! What? Who knocked his hand away? Is that... Connie got Sam's gun and shot Daz in the head. Ah! The dream they had together ends as a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's the end of the chapter. Sorry, this reaction ran a little long, so I'll try and keep my final thoughts a little, uh, you know, condensed. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I, I basically mentioned, like, the whole thing of, like, the boats and everything. Like, that could be essentially, if it was the boats and not necessarily the airships, you know, the planes, uh, they could easily just ride it out in the, 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 over the deepest parts of the ocean with no problem they could outlast Aaron in a matter of time um especially if they keep moving around and whatnot but uh, that's just my theory um but yeah like how close is Marley to freaking Paradise Island that's uh I I mean the fact that you need a boat to get there you know and like a fully stocked boat at that it seems kind of weird but that could have just been for Mm, excuse me for prison quarters because they would haul sometimes quite a few people over to the island to knock them off and turn them into titans so uh, that might just be my my wrong thinking on the matter i guess but eh, it just it is what it is i suppose it's just really close I, which is weird but how would they be able to get to the other countries so quick like, how small is this planet in the grand scheme of things? I'm, I'm wanting to know. But anyway, um, we also have... The plan is, was decent enough. I mean, it obviously had some holes in it. I mean, once you found out who was a traitor and everything, that's... But weird how it was... It was called Traitor or Traitors, which I guess did eventually come to pass, just not the way I thought. I'm still wondering if Yelena will become a traitor by the end of this, so that that's its own thing um so yeah it looks for the time being that they have almost successfully captured the boat or not the boat but the i keep thinking it's a boat for some reason because they call it what they do and everything but the airship um which airship in my mind is always something that stays up in the air it's just the size of a boat you know so but that's just me uh, but yeah, the, uh, Lady, uh, Kuyo or Kiyomi, she pretty kick-ass, but I mean, it makes sense with her, like, Japanese heritage that some martial arts would probably be passed down at some point. I know that sounds a little racist, but it's kind of how typically things go. I mean, um, if it wasn't for the fact that, um that Mikasa was raised the way she was to like kind of hide her heritage she probably would have gotten it too to be honest given how the series goes but eh but anyway yeah so the the plan is kind of working kind of not it's kind of all over the place but hey big titan fights it looks like in the next chapter maybe um but yeah that that was quite the the spaghetti western shootout at the end wasn't it but yeah anyway let me know your thoughts and opinions on the chapter i've rambled on long enough um but yeah check out all my other content see what you like suggest things for the future um i i'm drawing a blank here for some reason uh follow my social media so you're always in the loop on all my content links down below I stream on Twitch, where I'm playing Final Fantasy VII right now, so check that out if that interests you. I'll tweet it out when I go live. Um, part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel. Check that out. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and banjo music for the spaghetti.